Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Force here, and today we'll be taking a look at 40 minutes of gameplay in SimCity. This is the fifth major installment in the popular city building franchise, and here in this video I'm going to be starting off with a brand new city straight from scratch. Uh, the first thing we get to do before we start our city though is select the region that we want to play in. Now regions not only vary in size, shape, and terrain, but they also vary in the number of cities and great works that they can contain. And yes, I realize that rhymed. <laughs> Makes me sound like an idiot. Uh, so we've got eight different regions which we can select from, and I'm actually going to pick a region that has a lot of forest and a lot of waterfront, uh, just because particularly that, that's kind of what I'm interested in. And the reason I want one with a lot of cities, though, is because I'm going to make this a public region so that other people can join. So why don't we call this Force Friends? And if you guys want to hop in this region and mess up my city, <laughs> or the surrounding cities, you can. Okay, so there we go. We're going to call this Force Friends. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next area. And then we get to select uh, our starting area. And I'm going to try to find something with a lot of woods. Yeah, that looks good. Lots and lots of forest, a little bit of waterfront as well. Let's go ahead and claim that in Force Friends, and let's begin our first 40 of SimCity. So I think one of the really cool things about this game is that with the inclusion of these regions where multiple people can inhabit the cities surrounding yours, it makes for some really cool dynamics in a, a multiplayer aspect, but at the same time, as a result of this, we've got this always online internet connection which has caused tremendous issues for the first few days of launch. Uh, I haven't really been a fan of it because I actually wasn't able to play the game for quite some time because of server load. That's clearly a problem, right? Uh, but we're not going to focus on that here in this video. What I want to just focus on is showing you some gameplay and talking with you about the game. And normally in these first 40s, I like to go in completely blind and just give you first impressions. While I know a little bit about the game, I, I don't think I would consider myself an expert. So this is still going to be a first impression video, uh, but just with a little beforehand knowledge on my behalf. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off here by laying the groundworks, uh, the infrastructure for our city, beginning with the roads. I'm going to try to keep things really small because I want this to be a quiet seaside town in the woods because that's where I'm from and that's what I like. Uh, so we're going to begin here with a main access road right to the coast. And then I'm going to switch it over to these low density dirt roads. And uh, let me go ahead and I'm going to actually tilt the camera over here. And we're going to, I think, just build, yeah, build a road right along the coast. And I think we're just going to start with this side for now before we foray into that area. So after we begin building the roads, the next thing that we're going to want to do is lay down some zones. Uh, these zones are divided into three areas. There's residential, commercial, and industrial. And for the beach side, we're actually going to, I want some beach side shops. I just want some, some shopping centers to be over here, as my girlfriend would call them, her shopping. <laughs> and we're just gonna lay that right along the town. And I don't want any, I don't want any of the road coming into the town covered. So I know a lot of people playing this game, they really like to just fill everything up and just completely cover, completely cover the map with you know, buildings and buildings and buildings. I'm not interested in doing that, not at all. I like a quiet town. Because again, that's kind of what where I'm from. That's the kind of thing that I kind of thing that I enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna build some more roads over here. So the roads vary in a few things. They vary in size as well as cost. So basically the amount of traffic that they can handle. And you can upgrade the roads, which we'll inevitably have to do eventually. Um and what are we going for speed? We're going at a pretty slow speed here, so that's okay to start. Uh, so the speed can be adjusted down over here in the lower left-hand corner. Basically going to determine how quickly people are going to build things up. Uh, how, it's basically just how fast time goes by. Uh, we're going to keep things slow to start, though, because I do just want to explain things to you before I start running into issues. So we're going to build a few roads there. Again, going to try to keep this uh, wooded, if at all possible. And let's go ahead and build a connecting road back here. And then what I'm going to do is we're gonna cut this across. And, ooh, let me go like this here. We're gonna go like that. We're gonna bulldoze. We've got a bulldoze technique over here. And a bulldoze that. And then I'm gonna go for some angular roads here. So we can change the, the type of the road if we want it arced or, or whatnot. And we're gonna start off with a small arc here. Let's go for a smaller arc. There we go. 
and then we're just gonna take it from there and continue. I would like it if this were to go. Are you serious? That's too sharp of an angle? Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. All right, well, let me, oop. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Bulldoze this. All right, so again, we're just starting off with this. I'm, I'm trying to build right now. That's actually bad. I'm trying to build a community here. I'm trying to get my residential area up and running. Okay, there we go. And then we can do this. And then that. Okay, and I'm just going to connect that with some straight roads here. Just like that. Awesome. And then that can keep going. And then that can connect there. All right, wonderful. So now what we can do, create a through line. I know I'm like building a baseball field here, but we're going to start uh, throwing down some residential. Now, as I've said, I don't like to be too congested here. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to fill all this area up. I just want, you know, get a couple houses here and there. I want people to have their space. I want them to enjoy their land here. And I definitely don't want to break down all of the trees. So, and you know, again, I know some people are going to be like, "Force, why don't you just cover everything with houses?" Well, cuz I don't I don't live in that kind of a I don't live in that kind of a place. There's a reverence for the land is what I'm trying to say here. And I guess while there's not a lot of landscape right there, we can throw some stuff down there. Okay, so we got some residential that's gonna go up there now. And now we also need to make sure that we've got some electricity and plumbing and all of that. So, oh boy, there's some sewage building up or something. I may just need some water. Okay, so I'm gonna try to build a place for all that junk to go. Now, unfortunately, it has to go somewhere. Um, why don't I actually, let's build a through line here and we're gonna have that stuff go in there although I could just push it far out to the corner of my city just like that we're gonna do that so I'm gonna put the sewage back out there uh, but electricity we need power and I'm gonna go with a wind plant here All right, looks good. So we've got that and we need running water as well. So we're gonna throw this. We're gonna try to find a place that has a lot of, yeah, this is all pretty good. Let's throw that right there though. Get some water going, electricity and water. Now this is gonna start filtering through. It'll start up in just a minute. It just takes a little bit of time. Uh, and why don't we go ahead and speed this up right now? So we're gonna go to the mid speed here known as llama speed and electricity should be starting soon. Water's beginning to pump. Power plant is uh, hiring. Once it's got some workers, which you can see some workers traveling to there now, it's gonna start, there it is. And now it's gonna begin powering the city and we can watch this go into effect here. Watch the power spread its way through. Now on the right hand side, when any of these services, you're gonna be able to tell if you're near your capacity or above it, you can see I've got uh, excess there in terms of my wattage, so we're okay. I don't need to worry too, too much. Once I start to construct more and more buildings and we start to run out of uh, power, then that's gonna be a problem. Same thing here with the water if we need more water. And we actually have been approved for a town hall here, so why don't we go ahead and place that down. Try to find a nice place. First, let me check out these roads here. I uh, can start to see when there's uh, some density problems and we can begin upgrading the roads just like this. So we're gonna do that. Upgrade these to low density. I figure the, the waterfront is gonna be a pretty significant area. I'm gonna keep the actual town um, those roads, I'm gonna keep those low density, but we're just gonna upgrade this stuff over here for now. There you go, so you can see that cleared up some of that congestion. There's not as much of a problem anymore. 
Okay, so uh, we've got our residents here and I really want to make sure that they're happy. Now we do need some more workers here. There's a residential problem. So going to make another residential spot. And I know that the easy answer, now we should have a downtown. We should have a downtown. So let's throw some residential. We can throw some residential. We can sort of congest it uh, here by the water. But I think as we get out into the woods, I'm gonna try to keep things nice and quiet. So, and we're gonna leave those trees there. I don't want to step on mother nature. So yeah, we're gonna leave those trees there. And why don't we have, okay, so we can have some seaside houses here too. Right on. Now, we've got a bunch of space up here. So I'd like to create some parks. So we're gonna go over here to the parks and there's a whole bunch of different options. We've got uh, basic parks there. Those are more like kid areas though. And there's sports areas, there's nature parks. That's what I'm gonna focus on, nature and formal. Now let's go with some nature parks. We could get a, let's see here. Let's get some parks over here. Just little, little walkways for these guys. Begin with one right there. And actually, we still need a town hall. Let me try to think about good areas. There's a good area for a park. We got a park right here as well. And we can go with a formal park in the downtown. There we go. That looks nice. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, so we got some parks up here now. Our residents are a little bit happier. Uh, we do need some sewage. Just gonna dump that out there in the corner. And that should start pumping all that sewage. I know, it's kind of gross, but that's how it is. And we need a town hall, and I think that's what this person's gonna tell us here. Oh, he needs a place to work. Okay, all right. Well, we do need a town hall, so why don't we throw one of those down? And we're gonna have that be right over here. There we go. And we'll have some more residential right around that. Try not to tear through the trees too much there. And I think we could probably fill up sort of around the town hall too. I think that that'd be okay. Let's keep let's keep it woods behind the town hall though. But we can have some stuff to the side of it and everything. And maybe just a little side street there as well, right? That'd be nice. Again, trying to do this without impeding too much on Miss Mother Nature. So let's go ahead and get some more, some more residential. Now I have to say, again, there were significant launch day issues. I wasn't able to play this game for basically the first few days. Oh, you guys destroyed all the trees? Oh, I hate you, this is why. This is why I don't, this is why I don't like all these cities propping up. Destroy that too, destroy it. Let me dezone that area. Dezone that as well. Destroy, I keep destroying these people's houses that they're trying to build. Okay, so uh, going back over here now to the plazas. Now we can get some nature plazas for To raise the medium value of the land is what we're trying to do here. So we're gonna do that, and this is basically gonna create a middle class. And this does cost me some money, but at the end of the day, it'll be worth it because these people are gonna have uh, nicer houses, nicer buildings. Just nicer things will come of this, basically. I'm just, a lot of parks, I love parks. Let's just have lots of parks. You know, why not? There's even more, we could, we can even throw down some trees here. 
Oh, we can we can just Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I love it. <laughs> I know that I'm sounding kind of creepy here, but man, I I I just I love forest and trees and I want this little town to have to just be overgrown with nature. That's what I want here. I'm spending all sorts of my money on it, but I don't care. This is how this is how life should be. <laughs> oh man, I just realized I just said the state motto. I'm from Maine. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this is great. This is fantastic. We got some nice trees here. We got a nice little seaside community going. I might not be building the most thriving town in the world, uh, but you know, I think this is a nice town. And I think nice people live here. And I think they're happy. <laughs> This is the weirdest, uh, this is the weirdest first 40 video I've ever done. Okay, so we need some more stuff here. It's trying to tell us. Um, we can also name it. I'm going to name this Bar Harbor. Look it up. It's a great place. Um, we need more shoppers. We need more shoppers. You know, business, business could be great here, but uh, we need more people living in this area to really take advantage of the downtown and all these wonderful shops that we've got here, like cheap Cheap food? What? Cheap business? Get out. I don't want this cheap stuff here. I want high quality. Let's build something to raise the value of this area. We're going to have to destroy a few of these things here. Frick it. I'm going to destroy one of these cheap places here. Cheap food. Cheap food is probably the worst offender. Put a park down there. These things better be better than cheap in the near future. <laughs> I, I'm so evil, I know. I realize this. And um, just put parks everywhere, man. Whatever. Donut shop? We don't need that. Oh, you know what? We can replace this small park. This someone's house right there. We don't need a donut shop. There you go. So now you can see construction is occurring at these areas. We've put this and it's going to raise the value of that area. Let me slow things down a little bit here. Well, I'm going to speed things up just to see these finished constructing here. And hopefully this will be now more than cheap food. There you go. So it's got some nice, got some nice areas here now. Okay, wonderful. So power looking good here. Uh, just with our one little one little tower there. Power is good for the city. The water, nice and clean. Sewage is being taken care of and dumped in the back of the city. I know it's unfortunate, but it needs to go somewhere. And we do have our town hall. Now, the town hall is going to grow based on the residents. And obviously, with a town like this with uh, very few residents, maybe that town hall is not going to grow too much. I don't know. That's okay. I think we're going to expand now, though. So why don't we go ahead and bring things back around here. Now, let me quickly show you here. So this is my city view. Uh, we can also drop this down there. City specialization. Take a look at things like mining and all this stuff. None of this stuff is approved, though. And I haven't really dove into this at all. I'm not really sure. Oh, we could set up a gambling place. I think that might bring in some unsavory people, though. So I'm not going to do that. And here's the region view. So that is my town within this region. You can see all these surrounding towns that need mayors. So guys, come to the come to this region. Be a mayor of Force Friends. Let's go back to my city here, my little seaside town. All right. Jeez, Force, the pretentious is really coming out in you in this video. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm being a... Uh, Trying to be lighthearted about this and, and fun, but I just, you know, being raised here in uh, New Hampshire and Maine, I just really, I kind of like the seaside community. And I like, I like the quietness of where I live. I've never really been one for cities. It's just a, sort of a personal preference. And yes, I've, I fully realize that a lot of that has to do with the fact that I was raised here. I mean, that's, you can't deny that. You, you like what you're comfortable with and what you know, right? So... That's just sort of how it is. Don't hate me. Don't As Dennis Rodman said, when asked about why he visited Kim, Kim Jong-un Jong in North Korea, don't hate me. Don't hate me. <laughs> Anyways. 
Uh, okay, so we of course want some connecting road here. Um, but this needs to go out a little bit further, I guess, before we can do that. So let's go ahead and push this out a little bit further. And oh, we could go, we could go for something like this as well. Um, just bring it through to here and then connect it like that. There we go. That's nice. Take a look at that. Got a little, nice little intersection as well. Man, this this game is really fun. I, I know there's been some really huge complaints about the game uh, because of the issues that it had on launch day, but just playing this game is incredibly fun. It really is. All right, so I'm gonna make a little I'm gonna make a little cul-de-sac town here, cul-de-sac part of town. We're gonna pull that in and we're gonna throw this down like this. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> okay. All right. And we could actually do a center one as well, really. How is that going to How am I going to do this here? Do I have to That is not working whatsoever. Do I have to start from the center? It's not working at all. All right, forget this. Let's try. Let me try just throwing this down here like this. Oops. Come on. Is that okay? Does that work? Okay, and then we're gonna just make a through line here. Awesome. All right, so that's gonna. This is gonna be a cul-de-sac. Uh, we're not gonna line that front area. What do you tell me? Yeah, I, I know. I need more shoppers. All right, so we're gonna throw down a bunch of houses over here. Just all around. Just houses all around, but they've got a wooded backyard, so it's okay. And we're gonna have houses all around here as well. Now, if they destroy too many of these trees here, I'm kicking people out, so you guys be careful about your tree destruction when you're building your houses here, okay? Be very, very careful about your tree destruction. And put a few more shops out here. And we're going to line the coast here with shops as well. All right. And then parks, 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 parks to raise the value of the land. Yes, absolutely. Park there. Park there. Park there. And park there. I love my town. And th this is the thing with this game too, is it really, the reason I think this sort of thing is so popular and the reason I think people enjoy it so much is because it really taps into the creative mind and the, you know, being able, building something. Building something and, and watching it come to fruition and, and watching something that you did, you know, turn and turn into something. Basically, you know, it's the same thing where like when I used to work as a, a landscaper when I was younger, my uncle owns a landscaping business and I used to work for him and I loved at the end of the day after completing a job just looking at my work and just seeing, man, man I did that. I, I love that. I thought that was fantastic. And I think that this is what this game also brings out in people. They can, you know, they spend hours and hours building these cities and then they just can can pull back and be like, look at that, look at what I did. Look at, look at what I did. So we've got this nice little forested seaside town here and you know what, this may not be the biggest town. This may not be the highest producing town. It may not be the most populated town. It may not be the most technologically advanced town. But the people in my town are happy, and they're healthy. Of course, I say that while I don't have a hospital up, and people are probably getting sick and dying, but <laughs> don't mind that. Traffic's a little intense right now. I think that's primarily because people are just moving in, so I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. Um, we do have to consider things here. Just take another quick look. 
All right, we still have enough electricity to go around. We haven't quite ran out yet, so that's good. Look, we've even got cruise, cruise ships coming into our town because it's so desirable to live here. All right. <laughs> All right, so that's a nice little area, and um, I also want to just point out, you check, take a look at this dotted line all the way around. This is the boundary which you can build your city in. Very small. Um, it's just, this is, I don't, I don't, I mean, I understand why. It's a, it's a technical problem. The idea is that these towns being so advanced and having so much detail, like when you zoom in, I can see individual people walking around. I mean, that's mighty ridiculous if you really take a moment to think about it. So having too much of that in too wide an area uh, wouldn't be possible on a lot of systems. And so to counteract that being a problem, they just say, wow, this is a major traffic jam here. They just limit the size that it can potentially be so that it's the same idea like MMO graphics are cut down for the most part uh, because they want as many people as possible to be able to play their game and so that's why that happens that way this is the same sort of idea to make sure that most people can play this and have it perform at a solid FPS they limit the size of the town and that that's the reason behind it, it doesn't make it any greater but um, yeah. Okay, so there's also waste disposal. So we've got the government, like we've got our town hall. There's waste disposal, fire station, uh, hospitals, police department, all these things you can also construct. They're pretty expensive right now. And since I don't have a, uh, a very affluent town, at least it's not producing a lot of money. I think there's probably some pretty rich people who live here. <laughs> um, it's it's gonna take me a little while to actually be able to afford those but those are the other things you can do besides this but yeah i mean that's it you know you just zone these areas and all all that stuff and is this a connecting road or is that a train station that's a connecting road leading into and out of the town why don't we bring that on through here oh it's a train station We're gonna have to drop that one area, I think. Okay, so this connects to the train station, I guess. Is anything gonna happen with that? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but this is this is the kind of town that I, I that I want to build. Now I could also, of course, you know, build that super futuristic town, and but this is the town that I like. I think it's quaint. Let's see how the shops are doing out here, huh? Look at that. We got a we got a nice little bakery, uh, Starbucks there. You could get loans. What's this? An another cafe? I mean, this is this is a this is a place to be here. This is just so this is so funny that these are the that these are the buildings that are actually popping up here. Uh, still not happy about my cheap business, but. <laughs> It just so like seeing the bakery and the job, like this is literally what it's like. Mediocre food. <laughs> Mediocre food. Yes, I love it. I love it. It's too funny. It is far too funny. What do we need here? What do we need? I've not enough shoppers, so we do need some more residential still. Oh boy, you guys are killing me. I don't want to push out too much over here. Maybe we could put some more stuff behind town hall. I suppose that's something that we can do. But anyways, like I was saying, uh, although this game was rife with issues for the first few days, uh, as a direct result, let's not make any qualms about it here, as a direct result of the always online internet requirement, there was just some significant issues. Um, but you know what? This game is fun. Despite all of that, this game is just a heck of a lot of fun. It's just, again, really neat to create and to see your creations come through. That is a really, really awesome thing. I think we gotta build some connections here. There we go. All right, tilt that camera up just enough to see. And then we're gonna go like this over here. This one needs to go through. Whoops, where's this? There we go, that's a very strange angle. Hmm. How about we demo some of this? And then get a better.
yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna create some more residential over here. Um, I'm, I'll build one through line here. And let's throw down some houses. Remember, not too much. We're not gonna completely overpopulate this area. I'm gonna throw, let's keep things on the inside, hmm? How about we do that? We're gonna keep things on the inside. Give people, make sure they've got a backyard, they've got some real estate there. And it'd be cool if we could eventually see stuff like that as well. You know, it'd be cool if we could see, here, let's just make, oh boy, let's just fan it out like that. So just have, make, make sure, basically, just, I just want to basically make sure people have a nice backyard, their kids can play in the woods, they can climb a tree if they want. I want that option to be there for people. And uh, of course, we're gonna want some parks to make sure that these people are happy. Their kids have areas that they can go play. Oh, that's perfect for coverage there. Look at that. It's gonna have to bust through some of those houses, but that's fine. That is perfect for coverage. So what do you guys think of my town, huh? You like it? I like it. I need some more. I need some more stuff over here, though. Let me, um... What is that back there? Oh. Let me do this here. Gonna have a side road. Dedicated specifically to parks. Okay, this is not working out here. Can we do that? There we go. So yeah, as you can see, they've got these like little guiding lines uh, based on the infrastructure that you've already laid down is how that works. It's gonna sort of align things if you basically wanna keep things cohesive here. And oh, we've got tons of money now as time has gone on. Um, so let me throw down some more parks here. Oh, you know what we could also do? We could throw down a uh, sports plaza. Let's get a... Uh, let's get a baseball field. What are these guys unhappy about? No shoppers? Yeah, I know. We got we got residents over here. And they could... We can make this a little bit easier for them. Get a road through there. That connects and and we can get a road through there that connects as well. There, that's fine. Okay. All right, so we got some got some more connection over there. Hopefully these guys will be a little bit happier from their shopping. And we need a medical department. Injured Sims is what we have. Where are they injured though? You can usually see when someone's sick or something. Look at that baseball field. Hey, they'd be playing baseball. All right, I'm not sure where the injured Sims are. Let's get some coverage right here. Put the hospital there. And let's see, we can also go within this and increase uh, ambulance, add an ambulance bay, adds another ambulance and reduces your clinic's response times. Provides extra. What I wonder is if we can increase the coverage area, which I don't know that we can. I think like this is the coverage area of the hospital and I would just have to cr m build another hospital. We need a fire department. There's a small fire going on right now. I can't afford the fire department though. How much do I need, 20,000? Um, we're gonna have to fast forward this until I can afford a fire department. All this stuff I should have built earlier, but I was too busy chatting with you guys and just looking at my, looking at my cute little town. Once I've got my 20,000, 
we'll drop this down. Man, this fire's burning for a long time. That's really surprising. Okay, let's slow this down here and uh, place our fire department down. All right, there we go. Fire coverage is now available for my area. So first impressions, I think this game is really a lot of fun. I really think it is. And I know it, it had a really bad rep at launch. Um, I think it's important to keep in mind that that is solely due, the game's bad reputation at launch is solely due to the server issues. I don't wanna, I don't want more residents. I think this is as big as I want my town. I think we need these woods back here. I think this is preserved landscape and I don't wanna touch it. <laughs> um, it got a really bad rep because of the, the requirement of an always online connection and server issues being a bust at launch. Now, it's important to keep in mind that when it comes to things like this, you saw the same thing with Diablo 3. When it comes to things of this nature, uh, it's going to be worse at launch because that's when the servers are under the greatest strain. And then as time there's a as time goes on, there's a huge dip in it. Uh, just people stop playing it as much, or they stop all trying to play it at the exact same time, which is what you see at launch. And it's a matter of these companies would have to invest in crazy amounts of money in order to have the servers capable of sustaining everyone at launch. And then all of a sudden, all those servers wouldn't be necessary because their their need would drop because people aren't all trying to log in at the same time. It's sort of how it works. I know it's a, it's a really basic explanation of it, and it may, it's not an, trying to make an excuse for it. It definitely sucks that that happens, but this always online internet connection that we have, unfortunately enough, I don't think that's anything that's going away in video games anytime soon. In fact, I think it's only going to get worse or more prevalent, if you will. Uh, so it's sort of something that we're just going to have to deal with, unfortunately enough. But that aside, forgetting anything about connectivity issues and the fact that you have to be on the internet, the game is fun to play. And while I am disappointed in the zone size for these cities, you can also always leave and go do another city. Now that's not the perfect response. And I, I, I again, I wish that wasn't the case. I wish this was more expansive, uh, but you can, you've got different options. You can just build multiple cities basically is the response. And I also think there's been mention of potentially DLC or something that is going to inc increase the city size, which again also sort of sucks that we're going to have to pay for something to increase the city size, but I don't know. The point is, the game is fun to play. It's got some issues, it's got some significant issues, but building a city and watching it grow and sort of constructing things how you want them to be constructed, it's really enjoyable. It's a lot of fun. I really like it, and it's definitely a game that I'll probably continue to play, even if it's just casually. Uh, and maybe you just want to wait for a sale, too, because it's $60 straight up front, and that might be a little too much. This town's a little too busy for me. I'm going to have to start destroying some... I don't know. There's too many people here. I don't like people. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it here for our first 40 look at SimCity. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is the fifth major installment in the very popular city-building franchise. The game was developed by Maxis Software and published by the ever-loved EA. Uh, there's that whole always online debacle, but at the end of the day, I still think this is a fun game to play, and really that's all that matters to me. It's available via Origin right now for $59.99. You could wait for a sale if that's going to be too much for you. I wouldn't blame you. I'd probably at least wait till the servers pan out. Yeah. Thanks again for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning.